Welcome to the Pencil Grasp module. Let's get started. While children are developing their shoulder stability, you may notice a change in pencil grip. Pencil grasp patterns typically develop in a predictable sequence. The key is to hold a pencil with a functional grasp that allows for appropriate writing speed without fatigue or pain. Typical grasp development will vary among children. All children progress through grasp development at their own pace. A functional pencil grasp should allow a child to see what they are writing, be maintained without causing any hand fatigue or pain, provide adequate pencil control in order to start and stop the pencil accurately, guide the pencil to form controlled straight, curved and angled lines, allow for adequate speed and legibility when forming letters and numbers. As your child engages in printing and drawing activities, you may see a more consistent grasp emerge. There is no one perfect grasp. Research supports that normal handwriting performance can be achieved with a variety of grasps. If a grasp is functional for a child, it does not need to be changed. An inefficient grasp doesn't automatically lead to inefficient printing or drawing skills. An inefficient grasp should only be addressed if a child complains of pain, fatigue, or if grasp impedes speed of written output or interferes with legibility. Here are some strategies to facilitate functional development of pencil grasp. Provide fine motor and sensory experiences that help develop hand strength, dexterity, and pinch. These can include using squeeze bottles, tongs, Lego, or Play-Doh. Model what a good grasp looks like. Show children how to hold the pencil. Engage in writing or painting activities together. Describe what a good grasp looks like. Talk to children about finger placement. Use visuals to support their understanding, such as adding tape or stickers by pencil tip to show where to pinch, or placing a picture of a hand holding a pencil with preferred grasp on the table. We can also encourage functional pencil grasp by using short crayons, short pencils, or broken chalk to encourage holding writing tools with just the fingertips. Please use caution using small pieces for children who tend to put items in their mouths. Holding a pom-pom, small coin, or balled up tissue with their ring and pinky fingers encourages a child to hold their pencil with three fingers. This will support the use of an efficient tripod grasp and improve hand skills. Using an inclined or vertical surface, such as an easel. This positioning supports wrist extension, which can encourage a more functional pencil grasp. This position also works on strengthening the shoulder muscles. Using different types of activities and tools reinforces learning and skill building. Variety also keeps it fun for children. For example, drawing with chalk on the sidewalk, painting with brushes, finger painting, drawing with erasable markers on a window, or completing art projects with crayons. Try using different types of writing surfaces and materials such as construction paper, chalkboards, cardboard, boogie board, dry erase boards, or paper on the wall. Heavy pencil pressure can contribute to hand fatigue and pain while printing. Mechanical pencils can control heavy pressure because the lead will break if you push too hard. Light pencil pressure can contribute to poor pencil control and decreased readability. Weighted pencils or erasable pens can assist with light pressure. Thank you for viewing the Pencil Grasp module. Please refer to the references on this slide for additional information or speak to your child's occupational therapist.